Vlogging on the move can be a tricky area, not something I've ever really mastered. Check out some of these videos that I'm not particularly happy with. All gets really easy, palm trees growing. To get it set up and get it balanced, it's a bit of a fun art. Get practiced on that, so yeah, off we go. I mean, normally I'd buy my way out of this problem, but I'm not feeling particularly flush at the moment, and I'm sure there's a way I can get decent results out of the gear I've got. If truth be told, the gadget lover in me is pining after these things. But I think they're just going to have to wait for another day. So this is the gear I'm working with. I've got three different cameras, three different mounts, and two microphones. Let's start with the GoPro and see how that performs. So the GoPro Hero 3 on a selfie stick. Nice, convenient, portable option. Autofocus. Makes it hassle free. Sound's probably going to let it down though. Wind noise, not particularly good quality. Not going to cut the mustard. This is our new addition to the family. First video that Betty's been in. Can we say hello? Say hello. Who's that? Yeah? You're live on YouTube. Yeah. Oh! Oh. Barney's still with us, still the dude. This is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. Nice and compact, fairly specialised piece of kit. I think we can conclude this one early. I'm not a fan of the mechanical stabilisers, I haven't got the patience for that. Sound on the Blackmagic is not great without an external mic and the setup on the Black Magic is too manual for vlogging on the move. So yeah, I think we need another solution. And this is the GoPro option with a external mic connected to my phone in my pocket. I had a few problems with this before in the past. Not reliable. Definitely need to listen back on the recordings just to make sure you've got it. So there's the SLR on a selfie stick option. Yeah, but that's clearly not designed to hold that kind of weight. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to throw something else into the equation. This is my fluid bearing tripod head, pretty substantial, not really designed to be a full frame SLR selfie stick but it's all I've got. So this is vlogging on the move with my highest quality gear, D750 with a road microphone with a wind muffler on. It's set at about f4 aperture so I should make a nice soft image in the background. It's heavy though. But yeah, I think the problems I've had in the past with me being out of focus is me just not concentrating, not reviewing the footage back afterwards and making sure I'm happy with it. I was wondering whether just to manually focus at a set distance before I start record it looks like that's prone to error. Autofocus then switch to manual is a much better idea. So you might be wondering why I don't just leave the camera in autofocus mode and get around the wrong focus problem that way, but um, as I think you'll see on, on film, the camera's continually trying to search for the subject, makes lens noise as a result. And it's just not, not reliable, it's not going to behave itself, so... Tell you what, watching those back on the edit, quite like that GoPro. Um, would be nice if some of the background is a bit softer, but that's too zoomed in. 
and that's the lenses problem. Um, I think I'm going to have to try with a couple more lenses. And this is the 28 300 lens on the D750. It's pretty heavy. The lens itself is probably about a kilo, but should give you a better field of view. And it's got vibration reduction in the lens, so maybe it'll remove some of the jitteriness. And this is the 20mm ultra wide lens on the D750. Should be getting a good field of view when you've got a nice landscape behind. Um, problem is, I wouldn't normally have this lens on the camera, so it would mean switching it on and off every time you wanted to do a little video commentary, which could be a bit of a pain, but let's see how it turns out. Not that much lighter on the whole rig, even though it's a much smaller, lighter lens. So let's take a look at the four shortlisted contenders. So, candidate number one, the GoPro and separate mic on a phone. <coughs> and candidate number two, the D750 with the Rode stereo microphone and the wind muffler. Candidate 3, D750 with the 28-300 lens and the Rode stereo mic and the wind muffler. And Candidate 4, D750 with the 20mm ultra-wide lens and the Rode stereo mic and the wind muffler. That's the light. What do you think? Comments below, please. So, the only one thing remaining I'm wondering is can we use um, some sort of software stabilization just to get rid of some of that final jerkiness? Um, final Cut Pro X has got an excellent easy stabilization option. Um, I'm going to show you the results here and you can decide for yourself. Candidate 3, D750 with the 28300. Candidate 3, D750 with the 28300. Hmm, two schools of thought there. Um, stabilized one does look nicer but it freaks me out a little bit when you see the little sort of goldfish ball effect where it's moving the pixels around. I think you'd have to use that on a case by case basis to be honest. So that's the end of this video. I think I've probably come full circle actually in terms of preferred choice of camera body and lens. Uh, but I've learnt three things to making this video. Um, number one, got to be super careful when using the autofocus and switching to manual. Uh, number two, while the microphone on this camera is actually pretty good, um, you do need a separate mic and a wind muffler if you want to get rid of that wind buffeting noise. And three is to have some sort of you know camera mount just to make it easier to hold the camera and do some kind of self stabilization. I haven't got the best bits and pieces here, but. Uh, yeah, it's, it's certainly better than trying to grapple the, the camera body itself. So yeah, I found it really useful making this video and trying different things out. I um, hope there's been a couple of interesting pointers for you in there. Um, I think I could probably improve the audio if I had uh, some skills and new audio tooling, but I think we'll save that for another day in another video. So yeah, that's it folks. Till the next time.